turning over to the United States Republican National Convention is over, and now it's the Democrats' turn in the spotlight. Hillary Clinton will officially become the party's presidential nominee, of course, and our Kim Yasong has the latest on the race for the White House. Hillary Clinton will make history at the upcoming Democratic National Convention, becoming the first female presidential nominee of a major American political party. The Democratic National Convention kicks off at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia on Monday at 3 p.m. local time and wraps up on Thursday with a speech from Mrs. Clinton herself outlining her vision for the country. Democrats from all over the U.S. will gather in the city of brotherly love, also known as the birthplace of democracy, to support Clinton and her newly announced running mate, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. Throughout the convention, the Democratic Party will announce their campaign pledges and policies, and they hope bring reluctant supporters of Clinton's primary challenger, Bernie Sanders, into the fold. Big names like Michelle Obama and Mr. Sanders will appear for the opening night festivities billed as United Together. Former President Bill Clinton will close out night two, along with a group called Mothers of the Movement, made up of women who have lost their children in police-related shootings. President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden will deliver keynote speeches on night three, followed by Hillary Clinton with her acceptance speech on the final night. Also appearing will be Clinton's celebrity supporters, including singers Katy Perry and Alicia Keys. Soon to be vice presidential candidate Senator Tim Kaine, a Harvard educated civil rights lawyer and a former National Party chair, will also give a prime time address. But once the confetti is cleared away and the delegates return home, the real game begins the general election showdown with Donald Trump. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.